Attention bobsled riders, you will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn, so please remain seated keeping your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Op Wiedersehen! Hello Yodlers, we are the Matterhorn Yodlers, I am your host today, Jafith, with... Jackie. And... I'm Giuseppe. Giuseppe. I'm Giuseppe. <laughs> I don't know Would you like to explain? <laughs> I'm kind of old and I'm thinking about things I want to do with my life. <laughs> okay, so let me go quickly into what we're talking about today. We're going to talk about bucket list. Because the Giuseppe thing goes up for my head. <laughs> I was like, I gotta come up with like a really old name and like Giuseppe <laughs> I've never was heard of that name. So this podcast we're all gonna use our old man voice. Hey, I'm G Fifth <laughs> <laughs> The wildest podcast in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, we're going to talk about bucket lists. There's always that conversation of like, if I won the lottery, I would do this. But we're kind of doing that with like Disney. Mo- Disney. There's no money, you know, and we'll bring in like, okay, in reality. It needs money. I, it needs money <laughs> and it needs uh, uh, reality. Yes. <laughs> in this overall, like, uh, so... Uh, We'll have fun with it. Like if I had all the time or all the money, I would I would want to do this. Kind of sharing, like what's in our dream bucket list, our dream world, a dream world of like I want to do this and I want to do it for this reason, or I think this would be a really cool experience. Um, so we're we're gonna see how this goes. We'll yeah. see how big our bucket is. This may be a short episode, but when we say that, it's totally it's long. It's still long. It's totally Every time long. we're like, I don't have a lot for this, guys. I don't know how well. I didn't prepare I much. want a figment popcorn <laughs> container. That's it. You know, that's because, like, we only record, like, maybe an hour of it. But then after we're done, we're talking for, like, two hours after. And then our wives and husband get <laughs> really mad no, at I, us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, you're doing you guys are gone for like five hours. Really? It went by like that. Yeah. It was like a Thanos snap. <laughs> <laughs> we just love talking to each other. <laughs> All right. So let's start off with um, what? Where? Where do we want to go? What theme parks are on our list? Every single one. <laughs> Every single one. All right, Jackie, you started. Well, um, but let's be specific. So like, like yeah. so like. W- there's obviously something that's what's the what's, what's, what's like drawing you into certain theme parks why uh, everything just to, well part of it is just to say you've been to everything so sure. it, it's the it's the notch yeah know? of course but then there's also like uh like other specific attractions you know about i want to see like, yes. the beauty and the beast attraction I, in, oh yes in tokyo or it's in it's tokyo, tokyo. Yeah. yeah explain it I, I don't know this, this it's one. just it's like a. it's it's like a dark, a dark ride, ride um, of beauty but, of the beast but with like really amazing animatronics it's like, better than <laughs> ursula Thousand times better than it's, Ursula. It's like you all watch the it, good money is invested. You, in man, that park. private or a company that owns you, you Tokyo. Watch, you watch what these animatronics look like, and you're like, that literally looks like the hand animated figure in real life. And like oh, you're wow. sitting like, in a giant teacup. I don't know. It just looks so cool. Yes. Okay. It's oh. the the. I would say the animatronics on that are worth visiting. That alone, that attraction alone. Okay. All right. So you. So Tokyo, yeah. Tokyo on that list for for me. Uh, do you have any no, other Tokyo go, attractions? Go, yeah, go for so it. So for me, um, I want to see the Winnie the Pooh ride. Oh, I yeah. hear the Winnie the Pooh ride is like the best Winnie the Pooh ride ever. Have a in right. Um, I want to see. Um, a lot. I mean, I honestly, their shows are good. Uh, their shows. I want to see. I mean, like. I want to go to Disney Sea mm-hmm. in Hong Kong. In Hong, yeah. Like, or is it in Hong Kong? No, it's no, no. Tokyo, no, that's Tokyo. Tokyo has so their... it's it's their sister park. Sister park. Okay. Um, 
like there's just so much there it's i mean amongst the amongst the disney fans it's considered one of the best disney theme parks that's ever been created Whoa. Um, that's where all the cool creative ideas are you know they have a giant volcano with an attraction inside it's of like it on the sea <laughs> yeah like um that's where um at sea originated from and so they have a, a specific attraction. It's just a walkthrough attraction designated to that. If you don't know what SEA is, it's for Society of Explorers and Adventurers, uh, which we did an episode on. So you should go back and listen to that. Um, it's kind of like a hidden like story within the park. Within Disney parks. Yes. yes. And so if you want you want the, the deeper meaning and be able to point things out and explain it. Which is now has spread to every Disney park around the world, including the water parks um that they have. Like it this this internal story is like the best is like the coolest secret story in the Disney history, in my opinion. It's like it's really cool. So uh, I want to. I want to see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tokyo. They, 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 they do really good job of like not caring about how much something costs and just being like, I want to make something cool. And they just. So do is that it. the Imagineers' yeah. dream job? Is to yeah. go go to Japan and go to Tokyo? Yeah, cause totally. Because they, they have the cause, money. Because you, there's like no limitations. Basically, it's just like, all right, yeah, we we need help working on our new space mountain and you can do whatever you want and you see what the like what the design of it it looks so good amazing their new space mountain that they're it's going to take like four four to six years to build it's like crazy hmm. um i i definitely want to go to tokyo i'm i don't know specifics on the rides sure you know, I'm kind of naive. Like when I went to Paris, right. like I was just like, I just want a clean slate. I want that. You want the fresh. I want that theme fresh part. experience. Um, and you know, but being naive like that, you miss the dragon you underneath do. the castle. You You're do. like, I didn't see the dragon. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't. And then I go, Oh yeah, that is there. Mm-hmm. And so, it, it it you know, there's a give and take for that freshness. Um, I do have a story about seeing tokyo disney i've seen it (laughs) i was flying i used to live in okinawa and i would have to drive uh, not drive i'm driving (laughs) i'm driving japan it's on an island no i i would fly from okinawa to uh, osaka or um there's the domestic and international airports they're not together and you have to drive through tokyo to go from one to the other and where we drove we drove by it and i was with all these like macho guys and i remember seeing and i'm going this is tokyo <laughs> disneyland and i was like oh. and my mind going i want to go but then i'm all like i gotta make a flight in an hour and i'm 20 minutes away from it right. and i gotta go through security and nothing scarier than seeing like 15 marines run through an airport going i gotta make my flight <laughs> <laughs> It's it, so I feel I, I I appreciate the patience that all those flight people had that right. day, but I had that moment of like I want to go back, I want to see it. Right. I never got to yeah. experience that to be so close and not go in, oh, because you just see it and you're like that's different, and just to see a park within a city, yeah, such as like that, it's nuts. Because like you'll go to like disneyland you're like yeah it's in the city but like the city was built around it right. tokyo is like no there's big buildings like here it's so <laughs> yeah. weird. it's dreamlike to experience something like that um so yeah definitely want to go just i want to go to every park to experience it and i kind of was playing in my mind it's like is it possible to go to every park in one day no and, no it's it's the there's the no. asian ones like i yeah. think you could do paris and then go to the U.S. Right, you can do. But you're just like, like going. Yeah. You're like, I'm here, and then you leave. Yeah, much. like there's people that have done that. There's they've people. done the like U.S. where yeah. they go from Disney World and get on a flight and go to Disneyland. Right. So if I have the Concord, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> can it happen? Yeah, that that would be kind of if time wasn't an issue. Right. To try right. to con- <laughs> if I break time. <laughs> I can do it. All right. So we've kind of talked about Tokyo. Is there anything in specific, let's say, for Hong Kong? Is there just anything? to go. 
Just oh, where's the one? What's the uh? Where is the haunted mansion warehouse? The, the monkey, Mystic Manor. Mystic Manor. That's Hong Kong. Yeah, that's, I want to uh, go to that because I saw that at the the D twenty three, and I was like, that looks like a cool. It's considered ride. one of the best attractions Disney uh, Imagineering has ever built. So explain what happens on the ride, Peter. Like so, so what makes it so great? So <laughs> better than Ursula at the Little Mermaid. Um <laughs> I didn't know you were a fan of Ursula. I love that animatronic. I <laughs> drive by like you go girl. It's a good animatronic. <laughs> Body language. I'll show <laughs> I'll show you I'll show you the bell animatronic after we're done here and you'll be like, oh wow that's really no, good. No, don't ruin it. Ursula is my top. You know <laughs> you know when there's something better you're just like I don't need to look at that. Um <laughs> But th- so Mystic Manor was their solution for Haunted Mansion because in Chinese culture, they don't do ghosts in Chinese culture. Like that's a big, no very no. superstitious, especially in Japan. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Super. And so, but they wanted to do some sort of haunting attraction. So they, their solution was this completely original attraction called Mystic Manor associated with S E A. Um, I feel like I'm like tr- talking around my kid where right. my wife and I are spelling <laughs> things out because it's like, cannot say it. Right. Um, but, um, and, and so like you're, you're visiting this man, uh, Hen- I think it's Henry Mystic, I think is his name. And he's, he's like a collector. He's got all these collections from around the world and he's got this magical uh, music box. And, you know, he kind of leaves you. He's going to take you around his house, you know, to show off all his cool things. And he says, but he's got a little monkey companion. And he's all like, um, and the monkey companion activates the magic box, which makes the house come alive. So it's like a boo. Touch nothing but the lamp. (laughs) Right. And so, like, so you're traveling around his house and all his, like, artifacts and things like that are all, like, moving around and interacting with each other and like it's it's a really cool attraction with a great soundtrack with a great story cute character with the monkey um yeah it's just like a very well themed original attraction from disney imagineering yeah it just i remember seeing it at the convention i'm going that looks like a ride i want to ride it it puts it kind of puts those other dark rides. It's like this is you know fourth fifth generation ride mm-hmm. creation you know and storytelling. I thought I was like oh that would be fun to go there and, and experience that. I really want to go back to Disneyland Paris when like Arendelle was open the Frozen. Oh yeah yeah it was being built when yeah. I was I was there. The new edition of it. They're they're trying to salvage their studio park oh yeah man, that it's was, bad <laughs> it's rough it's like any other studio park it's just not well that park got um screwed over because of dca california yeah. adventure because of the failure of that park all the money, all the money, all the money went to but California. But DCA adventure. failed because of Disneyland Paris. Correct. So it all goes like, full circle. It's just a full, it's full a, circle. And it's <laughs> your fault. We suck. Well, it's your fault. That sucks. And so everyone just looks at Disneyland Paris like you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, for me, for Disneyland Paris, I, I want to see the dragon under the castle. That's always you just want to sing. I saw he wants to throw it in my face and be like, I I saw the dragon, you did it. (laughs) (laughs) It's like ever since I saw the the because we we had the video of the opening of Disneyland Paris, and you know, like I saw the dragon, I'm like, I want to see this dragon, it's cool. we're really hyping this dragon I don't care. when it's just it, I, I mean I saw it you go in you're like yeah it's a dragon <laughs> there's it's, beautiful it's stained like, glass it was like my first castle. impression when I saw Paris I'm like okay this is Paris cool <laughs> I've seen the pictures <laughs> yeah if you go to Paris it's one of those things you just have to be with the people go to the shops yeah. eat the food be at the cafes that's the that's the Parisian experience with like the artwork and stuff like that and with Paris Disney you just you just go into the rides and just experience it it's not Disneyland right no. you're not going to get that but you got to appreciate it for what it is and there's some cool things like I want to go back to Disneyland Paris I only went there for one day for both parks yeah and I go Dang it. It's a two day experience. It's yes. definitely a two day. Because you're rushing things and you don't get to do some of the fun things. So, yeah. You could. Like, so, I two days do... I recommend if you go. 
So like, I yeah. don't think you need any more because they're both small parks. They're small parks, but it gives you a chance to go back and forth between mm -hmm. them and experience it because I didn't get to do the Turtle Crush ride. And uh, yeah, there were a lot of things not open yet in one park, but I'm going, I can only be in one park right. this half of the day and I need to go on this half. Uh, Which and, of course, you know, obviously on my list and what you saw, which was Phantom Manor. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was kind of fun. That's a bucket. It's fun to go with a two-year-old. This me. is scary. <laughs> <laughs> You're a um, champ, kid. <laughs> and, and obviously, you guys have hyped up Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, for man, me. I, I would go back just for that. That's like, that's number one on my list. Like, that was the experience. Yeah. So you guys have hyped that one up for me. So that's I hope, that it, I hope it doesn't ruin it for you when you go. But it's, No, it won't. I remember just dad going, it's good. Make sure you do it. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was it. Father goes, like, that, that's you gotta do but it but that's like all you need from father yodler He's it's like, good it's good and you're you like do oh, okay it's yeah it's so when good. he says a movie you're like it's a good movie you should see it all right, all right. was there anything do you guys know anything about shanghai um i just want to see how big the castle is in person yeah it's from massive. my understanding it's it oh shanghai insane. that's I, the castle yeah i that's just want to see me. the castle i've seen the other attractions like it's really not a lot it's the pirates it. oh Pi yeah the pirates it's attraction is looks amazing okay because so like the when the chinese government they came the people who they're you know working with to build shanghai they're like showing around disneyland and like showing them like the classics and they're like they didn't understand pirates of the caribbean because it's kind of like this boring boat ride <laughs> yeah <laughs> like why is this a big deal and but disney's like but we want to do a pirates ride and so they like upgraded it and like made it like there's an actual story to it story it's, it's story it's jack it's captain jack and like really this amazing so animatronics terrible. visual effects <laughs> and illusions and crazy stuff so like that's it's not your normal water ride right correct it's not your typical pirate pirates of the caribbean right like it's actually like an adventure and and i think that's what's good about going to different parks especially when you do the disneyland disney world experience uh, you compare the two. Mm -hmm. Whether you are Team Disney World or Team Disneyland, you always have to compare, you know, the attraction, and you always compare the castle. Oh, always the the initial. You look at the castle and like, what do you feel? I still think Paris has the most beautiful castle. Oh, it's gorgeous! It's beautiful. You walk in and you're like, wow! Especially it's in not the grand. It's not huge no. like Disney World. When you go to Disney World, like, whoa, that is that's big. That's the castle, right? But when there. I'm taking like, what's the most beautiful? Paris it is, is the pretty most beautiful one. very pretty um good show when they do it there um yeah totally they have a beautiful garden around there but it is a different experience the european uh they like to walk and so you have a lot of walk through kind of stuff right another thing like in the i will say like tokyo or shanghai or hong kong i want to eat the food because it is different food there you don't have chimichangas. <laughs> I want to eat at no churros. I want to eat at Walt's restaurant at uh, Paris. Ah, uh, because like they just Walt has a has a oh man. You have to get reservations. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I want. I want to stay at a resort there yes. and just focus because what you don't know is it's nowhere near Paris. No, you get on a train for I say about forty five minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes You got to jump on, hour. like, usually where you're at in Paris, you got to take, like, two trains to get yeah. to the specific train station that goes to it. That's it. Right. Like, this train is specifically for that and on the outskirts of Paris. I guess there's a bus. If you're staying at uh, one of the resorts at Disneyland Paris, you could take a bus from the airport. Oh, yeah, yeah. They do have those. Yeah. I've never seen that That's at, so at nice. the Gaulle. Like, they have. Yeah. I think if I went back, or I plan on going back one day, is... So you're you're you like Paris, you like the Parisian experience? Uh, no, I just want to go back to Disneyland. Just Paris. Disneyland Paris. Well, and Mark wants to go to Paris just to go. Just to go. So honestly, I think we would just do like two days at Disneyland Paris and then take the train in one day into the city. You're only gonna do one day. One or two, but one day is not enough for someone's first like Paris experience. You got to spend a week because you could do like a be couple the things. Tour guide, but but you don't need to be a tour guide. You just experience the city. When you go, you yeah. just go and you're like, oh, let's eat here or like, let's just walk in this area or let's go to this cathedral. Like there's enough little things like a week is really good. Or you can go to like we went to Normandy and experienced that. Well, there's other factors yeah. that Mark and I have to take a factor gotcha. of. 
Gotcha. Uh, so Jackie has one leg. <laughs> I got a bum angle. <laughs> Peg leg, Jackie. <laughs> what you don't know, she's got an eye patch, too. <laughs> she hates pirates. <laughs> they give me a bad name. <laughs> I'm a she, she gives peg leg people a bad name. <laughs> no, no, no. I get it. I get it. But for me, yes. it's like, oh, it's just, I went to Paris for like a day and a half. And I was like, oh, I robbed myself of an experience. It's just not one of those things. But yeah yeah going back to where we are with with um yeah when you go to foreign parks it's finding the balance of like not making your trip solely about that but also taking the cultural experiences of the local shanghai hong kong these ancient old like cities and like there's so much but it's nice to incorporate disney into your trip yes because it's a break yeah Yeah. especially when you have kids like well and it's familiar it to at least yes like, to us that go to theme parks and so when you're going to a foreign country and you're like it's a lot to it's, take it's in. a break yeah because when you're taking in another language where you're like i know that's the that that word means three <laughs> he, <laughs> he said bathroom he, he said, said bathroom. he said yeah <laughs> <laughs> he said hello <laughs> bonjour <laughs> <Voulez-vous>, you know <laughs> so yeah there's there's that like I feel safe yes. for a moment. I can be I can me. Breathe. I can breathe. And I get to experience something that I enjoy if you're a Disney fan. So, yes, it is nice to put that in there. Yeah. But then you have to listen to, like, whiny English-speaking people. <laughs> You're like, ugh, dumb English speakers. Keep your mouth <laughs> quiet and complaining. <laughs> so let, let's talk about Disney World. What is is there any bucket list items you have at Disney World? We've been there. We've I, spent a lot of time there. Is we've there anything lived there, there for yeah. some of us. Yeah. I want to stay at every single resort for at least two days. You only get two. Which one do you pick? Only two resorts. Only two resorts. You got to nail it. Um, we talked about this in our resort episode of like what we like and what we want, but I want to know what right now. The Riviera. Okay. It's a new one. And um, um, Yacht and Beach. One of those. Ooh. That's, that, that was Cause one. Because I, I want to experience the pool there. Okay. That, yeah, I picked the Yacht Club. That was That was my number one. Like, if I'm going to stay somewhere fancy, that's the place I'm going. Uh, it's Polynesian for me. Get sure. a bungalow. Poly- I always yeah. love. I walk in there and I am instantly I like relaxed. I got that vibe when I stayed at Alani. So I'm like, I feel satisfied. You've got that. That itch has been scratched. Yeah. Okay. I, I would love to take a night tour on the lagoon to watch the fireworks Ooh. from the lagoon. Oh, so I've done that. Explain. How so, was it? Uh, it was like, you know, when you're a cast member and stuff, like, uh, you'll get opportunities where you can, like, sign up to do, like, certain activities so that way you can promote it to the guests or whatnot. Um, so we did, like, a, it's like a pirate cruise or whatever. Um, Peg like Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie does not have a big leg. (laughs) (laughs) This is before my bum ankle. Um, But, uh, so, yeah. So, Disney has, like, boats you can rent out or whatnot. And uh, there's certain, like, cruises that you can take out. I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I had this idea of you, like, I was like, we can do merchandise with Jackie with a big leg. (laughs) Sorry, I'm so am I a tangenting mind. I could sorry. Continue on. We're on the lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> we're 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 yeah, fire and experience. Like, most of the time, like before the fireworks start, you they're telling you cheesy jokes and whatnot. Jungle Cruise style. Yeah. Uh, but then you watch the fireworks on the lagoon, and it's it really nice. It is a great experience watching the fireworks away from. Uh, Magic Kingdom. Yeah. It, and well, you don't even have to spend any music. money. And it was when we did it, it was for the Christmas party. Oh, that's a fun one. Um, show. So, like, we didn't even have to pay to watch the Christmas fireworks. There you go. Yeah. It was just, it was just one of those things. Like, like, 
will I be if I pay for that? Am I going to be like, well, that was a lot of money. I, I something spent. I could have watched free over on that beach. Right. Yeah, probably. I, I would like but to do it for it's a Fourth cool of July. Experience. You really it's gotta like, if it's a pirate cruise, you gotta dress up as pirates. And really, <laughs> let's let's they hype this baby up. Give me a bandana. <laughs> Does it have a Mickey and with a little goofy ear with that ear? <laughs> no, I think I would love to do like one of those uh, uh, boat cruises things for the Fourth of July fireworks. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah, I I would because I hate it. I did crowd control and i've told yeah. the story and the parks are the terrible parks, it is miserable so to watch it away from the park that's how you do it yeah with some pulled pork nachos <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. i love those things yes what's on my bucket list pulled pork nachos <laughs> but you've already had that i, I don't they're still and they will it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a forever <laughs> bucket list it's item. always there. it'll never come off like churros like i'm always gonna eat a churro at disneyland that's it and a chimichanga like that's just it's just always on the list it never gets crossed off um so yeah staying at polynesian for me and then uh the uh florida the grand floor what is it the the florida grand floridian, the, the grand floridian. i want to stay there it just it's like this majestic building even though i know i've heard that's things about good. the beds and and that's all i'm going to say well <laughs> i don't want to okay. i don't want to get sued i want to stay in the renovated mary poppin dvc room there you go yeah at the grand floridian. so what, what makes it i know you like mary poppins what makes it Mary Poppins the, in that room? It's Is beautiful. It... So they have this gorgeous artwork. And it's not like, obvi it's obvious, but not like screaming like, I'm in a movie kind of thing. It's it's subtle. It's tasteful. Like, tasteful. There we tasteful. go. Not Disney distasteful distastefulness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw the pictures and I was like, how can I convert my guest bedroom into this and i like yeah, literally right. was like creating photos and like trying to find things to make it oh i'm the same way i have a guest room and in the house and i'm like how can i turn this into the haunted mansion stretch room i That's... found haunted mansion uh wallpaper. there's haunted mansion wallpaper but i don't want he doesn't the want wall... the wall i don't oh. i want the stretch room oh, feel oh okay and but i'll put the like i'll put the hall i'll put that in the in the closet there's yeah. that walk-in closet and i would put it in there but yeah, I've had the same thought with like, how can I take this and mm -hmm. bring it home with right. me? So it's okay. There's that Mary Poppins there. Yeah, those are the two I'd want. I want those. I've stayed at the contemporary uh, Bay Lakes Tower, and that's really cool to watch fireworks in. But I want I want to be in that Bay Lake area. Oh, and either the Swan or Dolphin. Okay. Just something different right yeah, there, outside. and it's just got. I think it's just because it's got That's a giant not fish a on its Disney head. Disney Hotel. No, nah, it's not That's Disney, but it's on Disney. <laughs> yeah, I, w I would want to do that. Uh, uh, there's something else I'd want to do. I want to do the food and wine experience without a budget. <laughs> without oh. a budget? That would be good. Yeah. That's, it's a great experience. Just to go around and be like, oh, I'm going to try this. Yeah. I'm going to try that. But I want um, the unlimited pass where you just go around and you eat and not have to worry about like I paid a hundred dollars for like <laughs> five for <rates>? lingonberry <laughs> like fish in Norway. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it is. It's, it's so overpriced. It's overpriced for the portions you get. You're it's getting ridiculous. like Costco samplers for like twelve dollars a piece. And you know what? Disney makes so much money off of the food and wine festival. So much. Like the fact that like. It started now. Yeah. It's from August till the end of November. I eight. saw that. It was one month. It was like October. Yeah. yeah. Growing That's it. up, it was like November. That was it. Was or, it November? Yeah. yeah. It was okay. November. It was just November. Then they extended it to be like October, November. And then they saw like how dead up Cod is when there's no festival. So now there's festivals year round. Yeah. It's actually a treat when there isn't a festival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you got like. Flower. Um, they have the the Christmas. One. Yeah, the Christmas one. Yeah. I like the Christmas. The Christmas one's really because it's cool out and you got like the different Santa Clauses. And you have cookies and, and yeah, treats and yeah, yeah. That it, it that's that's a nice treat. I would like to go and do that with my family at yeah. Christmas. Christmas at Disney World is really nice when it's cool out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, when you get to wear like song. a nice little like sweatshirt, you get a little little bite on your nose and and and. Yeah, they do a great job with the castle. 
Um, well, they don't do it anymore. They don't do the lights anymore. No, it's all projected screens. Dang you, projections. Yeah, I liked it when I worked there. I loved when they put the lights on there. And I get it. It costs lots of money. They got a crane, and people complain to their wedding pictures like, hey, there's a crane in my crane in my wedding picture. Yep. <laughs> don't worry. We'll airbrush it. Yep. We don't airbrush. You know, like the classic, like, blue, like, uh, like of the Disney castle of, like, before a movie, like, of animation, like, yeah. back in the 90s? Well, someone edited a crane <laughs> in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Only in Florida. It's a Florida jo- inside joke. Yeah, it's it's always there. So um, any yeah. Other, any other Florida bucket list? I want to eat at the Rose and Crown. That's it's my, what I hear. I it's hear my Rosen. last. It's I, my last country. I've not eaten I, at the main restaurant. I I've would eaten love at all to the other eat ones. at every restaurant. Which one? Disney. Like, is there one specific that you're like? If you could only go to one. Like if you went to Epcot next, what where would you want to eat? What An to Epcot? cross it off? Um, there's so many. I want to eat all of Just them. Just one. You only have. You're only there for one day. I'll, I'll let and you think. Cross off. For me, it's Sana. I keep hearing wonderful oh my things. Gosh, about what is Sana? that? Best thing. So it's that's an a, Animal Kingdom lodge. Okay. It's the best. I love Sana. It's like my must do when I go back to Disney World. So it's your one you're reoccurring. Yeah. It's like me and my pulled pork nachos. But like. They have this like bread service, bread service, and the sauce. It's so good. Describe the sauce. Is it a sweet sauce? It's like it's, 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 a, it's, it's like a, a platter. Fried, it's oh, a platter it's a of platter. sauce. Okay. And you have like three or four different type of knob bread. Mm. And honestly, like you can just go there. Is knob bread them. like crunchy? Is it it's like soft. squishy? Is it like Hawaiian Think bread of it consistency? Kind of like a, it's kind of like a tortilla. Like, it's like a fluffy tortilla, or like a like a pita. Oh, like a, a pita, pita, but yeah. like but soft. not as dry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's All soft, right. and usually you'll do like it's uh like an Indian type of yeah. bread culture, um, but like you'll do cheese or garlic on it. Yeah. Mm. So that I've always heard amazing things about it, so that that's made my my list. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, Hitting up different restaurants would be great. I would like to do since I've got a, a little girls now. I would, I would do the Cinderella castle experience and, oh, and yeah. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo like uh, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Boutique. Yeah, I I wanted that's on my list. Next time I go to a a, a park, it's more of I want to eat at all of the resort restaurants. Yeah, when you work there, it's the biggest thing to do is to save up for like a quarterly like meal or to go in with a uh, cast members with your discount yeah. and like you get a big meal yeah and get your money's worth and you kind of try every you kind of do like family style where you try a little bit of every meal because those meals are they're like 30 to 50 dollars a plate i imagine it was yeah. like it was like 30 dollars when i was there and so i imagine it's at least 50 to 60 now yeah and there's so many new restaurants at downtown disney that like... oh i want to do jocks for the Indiana that, Jones. For Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones. If you go back to it, I talk really, really fast because I am really, really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it until like Father was like, You are you really like Indiana Jones? <laughs> because you talk really, really fast. I was like, okay. <laughs> so if you notice I talk really, really slow now. No. <laughs> um yes. Uh yeah, Jock. It has all little artifacts and Jock is in Raiders of the Lost Ark. He's the he's the pilot, and he's a member of S E A. As Peter loves <laughs> to spell it out, because <laughs> he'd be like C, and people are like I don't get C, like exactly. C, like so you have to you spell, have to it, spell out. it. So yes, that is on my list at uh, Downtown Disney, and every time on the list is Earl's Eat an Earl sandwich. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to I want it. Earl. I want Earl's to be served at my funeral. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, "There's great sandwiches." <laughs> like, I mean, he he so knows how to throw a swing and wake you, right here. Can you cater my funeral? <laughs> your what? Yeah, my funeral. I want you to cater my funeral. It'll be at this date. Wow, you're oddly specific. <laughs> yeah, our family is in love with Earl's. Well, Earl's what's your sandwich? What? what, what oh, what? the holiday turkey. Holiday turkey. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm the turkey i'm on the club 
I like the, the I like good. the Hawaiian with the pineapple. Yeah, that one's good. I like that. Yeah, but you uh, like it on your pizza. I'm so I love it on I'm my so pizza. excited <laughs> that they have it back at Disneyland, and I'm going in about a week. <sighs> Earl's is always that good place to go because it's it's not that crazy expensive it's restaurant. Crazy. You feel like you're you don't think about your money while no. you're eating your food. <laughs> yeah, that's the Disney experience. Am I tasting my the resentment of what I paid? <laughs> did I did I just did I did I just spend an entire paycheck? Check on this pork skewer. How many hours <laughs> did I work for? Three pieces of chicken and lots of sauce. <laughs> Ow, I just poked my cheek now. I hate this skewer. <laughs> right. Um. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, Earl's is a must at uh, Disney World. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, is there something? Yeah, just, we've talked about the rides you don't ride. That's yeah. while I'm there see some friends uh what would i really like a bucket list thing is to meet up with my cp friends and 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 people that were special to me yeah and i would i would love to do that hang out with my just have a reunion there yeah and like ride the ride i know a couple of them still work work over there still it's weird you get to a certain age and you start hearing like when you meet them in your early like working right. career and some of them were like yeah i'm hitting 15 years or 20 years and like i just got an invitation to a marine buddy that's retiring he's hitting his 20 year mark and i'm just like holy cow and like i remember when we were like a year in or less than a year and we're just chit chatting and you're like wow time flies and right like, and you kind of like oh it'd be really cool just to have like one moment with with those friends because your cp experience is magical yeah, it can't be replicated experience. nope because you you're all in like the thick of misery yeah and it creates <laughs> true. a bond it does yeah and uh, like, I even if no... it's not with your workers your your roommates yeah and uh, to experience just a moment you know it, it, it would be great to have that to go on mission space and or it's... or to give the tiki speech you know the college program like you are worked a lot and like you're ex- scab you're, you're like pre scab <laughs> and you may have a terrible position but like it's your roommates the going to the parks going often like that's what makes it so good and memorable and like yeah you know you may have a crappy job but you'll talk about that job forever yeah. yes it'll be a conversation starter well that's an interesting fact about you I used, I used to work at Disney. Disney. Why you used yeah. to, What did you do? People oh. light up every yeah. time. Were you Winnie the Pooh? Were you Tigger? Were you doing something you weren't supposed to? <laughs> Were you the one that touched that lady's butt? And I'm all like, oi, she was my ex-wife. It was appropriate. And she was, she was, she was Minnie. It was appropriate. It's not like she was Donald, all right? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, to go back. With yeah. friends and, and, I, and family and those experiences would be great. One thing, like if I won the lottery and whatnot, I would love to take our entire family and stay in a three-bedroom resort villa. Uh, there are more people. that we would, Each of us need our own room. <laughs> well, we're a growing family. We're a big so. family now. We can squeeze. You could fit like 20 people in those. All right. I'll share. My kids already. I'm taking share. you on the strip, okay? I will share my daughter. My my and kids. Her my kids already sleep on the floor, so that's not a big deal for us. This is if I had the money, I would love to take you all. Oh, that's very sweet. Oh, when's your promotion? <laughs> no. Uh, when this podcast becomes big, no. <laughs> please subscribe. Uh, no. Spotify. All right. I think we, we've, we've got yeah, a good, good cover on Disney, on Disney World. World. Let's talk about, is there anything at Disney World? We've been there so many times. Or is there any things that like, you well, want to do? Oh, I forgot about Club, Disney World. Oh, okay, back to Disney World. I want to say the Disney Castle. The room. The resort. Oh, you want to go to the suite? I want to go stay in the suite. Or at least visit the suite. I would be fine just visiting it. Yeah. It's because you don't really even get a good view. Yeah. Because all the windows are, like, tinted. So, like, you can't even see out your windows. But I would love to visit it. Sure. Yeah, eating at the restaurant at the castle is kind of on my list. Because I know it's garbage food. And it's just you're paying for the experience. But it just it would be kind of fun to see it with my, sure. with my daughter. Yeah. 
it's like going to the beauty bees like I mean, it's like place to eat it's kind of it's just that immersive experience it's a good character meet and greet area as well so i totally get that so disneyland you mentioned club 33 club 33 oh, yeah. it's on the list i don't want to pay the fees nope. if you want to know more about it we have an episode we have a club 33 episode i would love to go and say walt's apartment yeah that yeah. would be great up uh, above the firehouse in yes. main street that that's that's absolutely... the one that i want to go in yeah after like reading walt's um stories at the disney park that's definitely one it's it's great to get that level of history that's like still pretty much for the most part the way it was just the closeness yeah of being in the proximity like even when you used to go to the walt disney kind of like museum thing at hollywood studios where you saw his desk right and you're mm-hmm. like whoa like the work that he did here mm-hmm. and that's like just being near it it's kind of cool it's yeah sorry i'm being an old fan but i'm like oh my god mm-hmm. he touched I this pencil <laughs> would love to walk the park with imagineer Ooh, one of those experiences i know they used to have a have a dinner with an imagineer yeah. experience at Disney i had a friend World. that did that they they got to hang out with a a friend they paid for that kind of experience mm-hmm. they, they liked it it was fun yeah I it's mean, story time yeah well, I was in charge of this bathroom tile right here. And it was great. And you're like, I got the bathroom tile guy. <laughs> well, you didn't get the VIP Someone experience. Someone got Tony Baxter. And I got the bathroom tile. <laughs> he's all there eating, and he's like, Yeah, the tile's really good. This one's got slip proof, and then he's like, Tony Baxter's right there, and it's your sister, and you're like, This makes me so mad. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you don't get the t- the tile bathroom expert <laughs> imagined here. Hey, hey, it's an important job right here. I know with acoustics. Um, I would also love to do a VIP tour. Yeah. Have a VIP tour guide. After I watch Blackish, I mean, yeah. I want that experience. <laughs> I haven't yet been able to eat at Carthay Circle Theater. Ooh, I haven't done it's that so either. Good. No, it's good. I, I want to go. I love it. Like every time I, we go, and I'm always like, I want to eat. The only okay. way you can get reservations, this is a fun tip, and it's an awful tip, and I hope <laughs> Disney changes it, is uh, usually the reservations are available 60 or 30 days before. Right. You have to wake up at midnight yeah. on that 60-day mark to get any good reservation. Yes, 60 days. Yes. Specific. At midnight. Wow, that's a horrible... It's a horrible system. Um, I did learn a tip from a friend... Uh, going back to Disneyland in the park, the Blue Bayou, which yeah. is like, you know, it's right there next to Club 33. And it's pretty much like, you know, us regular people, like the go-to place right. in heaven, where you get to eat at the beginning of the Pirate, mm-hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Uh, he had a large group. And if you, you, you don't need a reservation necessarily, you just have to have your whole party there and willing to wait up yeah. to an hour. Because the biggest thing, people walk up and they're like, yeah, I want to put in order. And they're like, is your whole party here? And they'll be like, nope. And they'll be like, come back to me when you have your whole party. And you yes. have to be willing to wait. And he right. got a party well, of nine and you to normally sit at the Blue Bayou. It's actually changed a little bit. Um, it? It's a virtual queue wait. Oh, no. Okay. So you can. He just did this recently on on, on a trip. Oh, like maybe. Within the last like month. Well, maybe you could do both. Where he just walked up and he got it. Yeah. Wow. And they, they accommodate a party of nine, walk up and just wait. I mean, that's... If they have the space, they'll they'll make it work. But yeah, sometimes you have to wait. I remember the last time we went, we sat next to like the kitchen or when we went as a family. And right. I just remember the door <laughs> swinging and I was like, yeah. I was so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I blew by you. It was like a year ago, and my experience was not that great. And so I'm like, nope, I'm not going to do this again. Yeah, it's one of those r- restaurants you that do you, it, you do it done. for the experience of eating there. And they and that's have about decent it. food. Like, I eat you, prime rib. And or, most, or prime... most of the food you can get at other restaurants on property. Yes. So, like the Monte Cristo, you can get that elsewhere. Yep. Or for um, Bell. So, yeah, I, I, I would uh, go back to I would do uh, if I if I had lots of money, I would rent out the Liberty Bell and I would put slot machines and, and, and 
riverboat gambling. And I would do some riverboat gambling. And oh, everyone's okay. wearing a Walt mask. <laughs> <laughs> that way I'd be like, I was riverboat gambling with Waltz. You're not robbing any banks now. No, 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 no robbing no. banks. No, this time. no jet skis and or no, robbing no. banks. If you want more context to the story, it is our one, one of, of our, our earliest. Episodes. I think it's our episode three, something, something like that, where like it's that. like a day with Walt. Yeah, and it's probably one of my favorite episodes because it was just it allowed me to show my crazy creativeness. Yep. That and the the parade. Yeah, the Christmas. How do you fix the Christmas parade where right. there's a battle of good versus evil? Right. <laughs> Yeah, the hub. <laughs> that would create a parade nightmare. Yes, of like, it would. I'm only gonna stay here at the hub. I don't want right. to see anything. Right. So you have like fifty thousand people here at the hub. Yeah, that's so. a logistical nightmare right there. Um, anything else for Disneyland? No. I. You know what? I want to experience the 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 radio boxes that Father Yoder talked about. So my next trip, I want to kind of just see them. Those oh, okay. boxes, those music boxes. Yeah. Oh. I kind of want to experience those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are really cool. Like little fun little It's the bits of kind history. of little Easter egg I'm going to see. So yeah. it's on the list. It's not like, I'm dying. Let's go look at the boat music boxes. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's one of those like, I'm looking forward to like seeing yeah. that just because of like, and that and the tree, the Rock Rudy's tree. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you want to see the Dominguez tree? Dominguez tree, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dominguez yeah. tree. Yeah. Because we've, we've had that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Are there any non theme park? Yeah. Disney list? Archive. Disney Archive. You went absolutely. And since we've been doing this podcast, I'm like, oh, it'd be really cool to it'd appreciate be really it. Be really good to go. Yeah, we went to a mall at like nine o'clock in the morning. I love to go to the Pixar. Oh, the, the, the that's studio. what we did. The, that's right. So me and Father Yodeler, uh, way, 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 way years, years ago, um, we did uh, a tour of the studio. Um, back lot of the Walt Disney Studios, uh, the actual studio, not the was theme park. It? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's where you went and saw the, it was like an archive tour, wasn't it? Was it the it, archive it, tour? It ended, I want to do what you guys did because that was kind of pretty cool. Uh, to hear about. It ended at the archive. Okay. That's where it ended. So, like, you just kind of walk around to the different buildings. So, like, we went to the different animation buildings. We saw, you know, this or that. We, 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 we're at the uh, where uh, you I, you can take a picture with uh, the partner statue where it's like right there, right next to you, like not up on a pedestal surrounded by flowers. Like you can actually stand right next to Walt and take a photo. I've got that. Um, you know, you see the handprints of all the Disney legends. Um, you know, like you, you just see a lot of the history. You go on the underground tunnels that they built. Uh, that's that was kind of cool. Um, they they had stuffed Gus, Gus the uh, field goal kicking donkey. Was it the real Gus? Did they like? Did I don't they, know. Did I don't they, know. I don't think so. I don't know. But I what, there did was they a taxidermy Gus the I don't think so. there the was, field goal there kicking was, donkey from the seventies film. There was a donkey, and he's like, "Here's our special guest. It's Gus." And I was like. I don't know if that's the real ghost, but that's a, that's a I'm, donkey right I'm there. I'm kind of creeped out. Like, they took the donkey and... And he's sitting, like, in a random room. It's not even, like... <laughs> he's got, like, a... He's got a hoof up. He's like, what up, bro? <laughs> You're like, that position? Okay. Right. Um, but then, the you know, the and, uh, and now I think the tour... Not at the time, because at the time, the office was actually being used by an executive. But now they converted Walt's old office back to Walt's old office. Um, and I think the tour now incorporates... Kind of leave you on a high moment. You can like, do this was it. Incorporates that, that office. You are now through Adventure by Disney. Yes. The California one. And it's actually kind of reasonably priced compared to the other adventure by I Disney. love the the reasonable like you understand Disney prices you're like I guess that works <laughs> right but it did end at the the Disney archives where like you know they had a representative there from the archives uh, for me it was actually uh, Dave Smith like he I actually got to like the the Dave Smith the, the guy who created the Disney archives the one pulled out Mary Poppins globe and he's like right. the one that started it all yeah created his dream um, job or created the job yeah yeah um and like he he showed the different artifacts he showed the first admission ticket to Disneyland and did they show Walt's badge uh, I I don't think they had Walt's badge at that time um I don't think they had it yet 
Um, I could be wrong. They could have had it there. I don't remember. But I got to hold one of Walt's Oscars. Um, wow, you held his I Oscar. Held... Do you have a glove on? That's a replica. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez, a little downer I'm joking, there. I'm I don't know, but it was heavy. It was... No, it probably was I felt real. it. I felt it. So um, that was kind of cool. But yeah, they just have different little little fun little trinkets that would make most Disney fans be like, oh, that's cool that they have that. You know, here's the parking sticker for opening yeah. for media day for Disneyland, you know, things mm-hmm. like that. The cool things. Um, they, I think they, they showed um, the Steamboat Willie uh, script that Walt had in his desk. I think, I think they had that out. Uh, things like that. So that, that was kind of cool. It was a cool see, experience. You know, the early artwork and that would be fun to go to the archive and do that i would love to visit the pixar studios Ooh, that yeah. would be cool i think that would just be way cool just to see everything um i also want to do every disney cruise ship yeah the i definitely want to which do the which one. one is the one that like i want to do this. the newest one for me yeah i want to do the newest one after watching that documentary on the disney Wish. plus that was really cool. Looking. Yeah, I, w- I really want to do the wish. What's your destination? I want f- with the wish. Well, any de- what's what's your preferred destination for your cruise? Well, I want to do them all, but uh, I know I'd want to do a European. I, don't I, think... I really would love to do a European one. I, love... I want to do the Alaska. That's my Alaska. I want to do yeah. the Alaska one. I want to do the Florida one that goes to both pri- Disney private islands. Is the second one open yet? It will open up this summer. Is it this next summer? Yeah. So in a year from now? Yeah. No, this. So 2023? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah. Or I guess, yeah, I guess it would be next summer because summer's almost over. Yeah. 2024. Um, yeah. I want to do all the different cruise ships. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys got the Alani. Do you want to do the Alani? I mean, it would be cool. I don't think it's been. I don't think I consider. You're not that going a out of your way for it. Bucket list. For yeah. Me. Like I, I get it. Like it, it the looks Disney cool. parks are more important to me to go see in Asia than the Alani. Correct. For me. Like I, I get like if I'm going to go to Hawaii, I want to stay at Alani. Just at least for a day, just right. experience like, it. Like if I, if I, but I have no drive to go to Hawaii, so. I can't say that's a bucket list item for me. Jackie did a great she did. job. She did a great job describing it. And my wife listened to that pot and she was like, I want to go. And I'm all like, I know Jackie and Mark nailed selling it. It's so so good. listen to that episode if so you can. Good. It's it's really good. Oh, I was just thinking about it too. Because after the trip, I was like, oh, I think I'm good for like, you know, 10 years. But it's lingering. But it's lingered. And I'm like, when can we go? <laughs> see for me it's more like so to plan a trip like that it's a big trip it's a big trip so if i'm gonna plan a big trip i'm gonna go all the way i'm gonna go to tokyo yeah that's 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 why like like if it is a bucket list item it's low priority yeah i i like well, i said if i'm they, going to asia i'm doing all three right when it well, comes to these like big bucket list things we can always be like oh it's so much money but like Spend an evening, break down the cost. It's actually not as expensive as Disney uh, sells it for their hundred grand uh, world tour. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> yeah. That's a joke. Yeah. Don't don't buy that. That's you don't need to spend a hundred grand to travel to all the Disney. That's parts like now. staying at like the best of. You the also go. You also and... go to like Egypt and other yeah. stuff like that. But... Which which is. That's on my cool. bucket list in life. Do a riverboat cruise down the Nile. Well. So any of you guys want to go to the Walt Disney Family Museum? That's the one in San Francisco, right? Yeah. My wife's been to that. Yeah. She thought it was pretty cool. She like it. it was nice. There's a lot of history I there that I want to see. No desire to go to San Francisco. I don't either. But no that's desire. the only reason why I want to go is because of the museum. So even if I like just came, drove just to the museum and then left. That would have been good for me. I would want to go to The Rock. I would want to go to Alcatraz and and just do Sean Connery. After Sean Connery. Welcome to The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know that movie, it's a touchstone film from the 90s, the mid 90s with Sean Connery and uh, Nicolas Cage yeah. and his finest and the overreaction. Yeah. 
Yeah. I would love to do an adventure by Disney uh, thing somewhere in the world. Do you guys know about Walt's Barn? No. So this is some guy selling. He's like, Walt was born here. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So. <laughs> so you know how Walt had a fascination with trains, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he had a train barn. And he donated it, and you can actually go visit it. It's a little kid train park where you can go visit Walt's barn, where you can get see uh, some of Walt's trains. You can actually ride on one of those mini locomotives. Oh, that's cool. It's only open like once a month, like one Sunday a month. One guy who's retired, and he's like, he's a big train enthusiast. Bob, Bob Gurr tends to go there like all the time. Oh, Every cool. time it's open, he's usually oh. there. So wow. like if you want a chance to meet uh, like a legend, try to find well, when when Walt's barn opens up. There's a good chance Where he's running it a. Dream. It's it's um it's right there by in California. It's right by his place. Uh, what Griffith Park? Oh, it's, in Griffith, oh, it's Park. in Griffith Park. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, that's where they have the famous observatory that yeah. they show on the Is hill. Is it Griffith Park? It's the one that's. I don't. Is I don't that's remember. That's where the carousel is. Is it okay? Yes, yes. It's it's in the same yeah. vicinity as the the carousel of Walt's Dream of Disneyland. Um, so like yeah. So I want to, you know. But like it's always like, so rare when it opens up, and it's like because yeah. What I'd want to do is see this, and this was just me recently made the news. I'd want to see his house, his fairy tale house. The oh, show, yeah. they they oh. it just recently made the news where it was like you can rent it for like yeah um, an exorbitant amount yes. of money and he's just like no thank you. There's some really good videos where they say like some of these classic photos of Walt Disney were taken in this house and oh, yes there was that yes. uh was it it was on a show was, on Disney Plus it was, it was on it? show on Disney Plus yeah. and I saw that whenever I see it on TV I'm like I want to go I want to yeah. do it so that's yeah. what's dangerous about like these. Kind of documentary thing. See the, the shows, the, the doll, the 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 house that he made for his girls, for his daughters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that would be cool, you know. But it has that kind of that European yeah. fairy tale look to it, with the curved uh, staircase and the stained glass windows, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on the list. All right. So anything else that's on the list? I think we've. We've dreamed ourselves a big oh, list. Oh, I've got more. Oh, yeah? I've got plenty more. My, my Disney bucket list never stops. Uh, I, I can't not not want to go to Marceline, Missouri. I was wondering if that was going to uh, pop up for you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Do you see yourself going on a Midwest trip and stopping off? We've, we've Me and my wife, we've talked about. So I know you've got some sites you want to see there. Right. There's a lot of places in the Midwest that we would like to go see. And so my wife was all like, yeah, the we'll go visit in Missouri, twine. in Minnesota. Absolutely. <laughs> So see, and sing the Weird Al song with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. My wife would hate it 100%. <laughs> um, but yeah, like we talked about going visiting Missouri, and I'm like, well, if we're in Missouri, I'm going to stop by Marceline, whether you like it or not, <laughs> whether it's by myself or what, because there's a, a few different sites there. There's the museum. They've got a Walt Disney Museum there. Um, you can actually go to walt's house like you can't go into his house but the people who own the house are well they allow you to take a picture from the side of the road yes. they allow you to you can you can actually go to the back of the property where they've reconstructed kind of like a a, a barn the the old barn the old barn is gone but they kind of rebuilt it uh, where Disney fans can go and like visit, and you can sign your name. They you can even, visit. They Walt's, even etched Walt's name into a tree. And you like, can, Walt, Walt did that. Here, <laughs> you donations. Can, <laughs> you can go visit Walt's Dreaming Tree. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there as well. So like the the people who own the land, they're they're, they're very, cool. They're Seems very like. cool. Um, obviously, well, probably... be obviously if you go, be very respectful. This is somebody else's property, like. Like treat the area with reverence, basically. Oh, <laughs> you're very <a> close. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it would be so cool just to to see that, um, to see his hometown. I got Jackie going. I know you it's did. like when we played the one the game where it's the monastery. <laughs> I was like, I got a monastery. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was to think of like Ace Ventura where he's like floating. And he- oh, yes. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> but 
Bumblebee tuna. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. <laughs> what else? Anything else on your list? Um, let's see here. Spitfire, quick. I think that's all that's coming to my mind right now. But we, we've, we've, we've hit a lot of them. Um, I wouldn't mind going to a candlelight procession. That would be cool. I've never been, so. It's easier to go to the one at Disney World than one at Disneyland, that's for sure. Disneyland, yeah. like, do you guarantee you won't get the first show? Because they only do one night at Disneyland. Yeah. Um, and they get some big celebs. And usually the, uh, you know, the, think... the, the first showing is always, like, invite only, and you can watch from, like, down the street. Um, but you might be able to get in for the second showing. Of it, but at Disney World, the Disney they have. World, yeah, they're, they're like, please, the please show up. <laughs> no, a lot of people show up for those, but Neil Patrick Harris does it. Yeah, Whoopi he Mary's, always. Whoopi, Whoopi does it, and I don't know. Your your uh, Gary Sinise, he likes to do it sometimes. Yeah, yeah I'm a read show up and ride Mission Space. <laughs> like this is my ride. Partially drunk. Right? <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny, <laughs> but he did say that, or no. People have said he said that, but it's, it's just hearsay. Right. No, usually Neil Patrick Harris will always say Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah, he's got his family. I mean, hey, come for a free trip. You we'll just got to read this. Stay in the presidential suite. I mean, he's he's nice. a big Ooh. Disney. It's fan. real nice. I've been in it. I was like, my boss is like, you want to see the nice suites? I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> show me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, it seems like we've got. Um, we've got a lot the, to get on our list. We have a lot on our list. We've got an we're hour's probably, worth of. We're probably going to die before most of this list is accomplished. And there'll be things that pop up. Disney's really cool about creating yes. new things oh, and experiences. True. And I mean, was it thirty years ago? There were no cruise ships. Now there are, and yep. the Alani didn't exist. And well, I wanted to do the Star Wars hotel, but that's not gonna happen. That's not, <laughs> you can when it's shut down. You'll sneak in, <laughs> well, and mean, then you'll get you know kicked out. Apparently they. Still, have, they have a plan for it. They is what they I would hope so. They spent, <laughs> they spent a, lot a lot of money, of money on it. Oh, no, it doesn't work. We gotta <laughs> shut it all down, all or nothing. It's like, come on, why don't you a... dumb it down or, or, or like you do with Make all their other attractions? Experience. You know, turn it into a restaurant. You yeah, know, or a an meet event and greet, space. Something. Um, yeah. So there are so many experiences to do as a Disney fan. And we've only shared what we're interested in. Everyone's got their, you know, their own, you know, things that they value that they think would be amazing or they've already done all these things, you know. And so it's, you know, that's what's cool about bucket lists. They're always changing. You can be like, ah, I used to value that. Not so much anymore. Right. You know, that's kind of declined. And, you know, I don't value that. Or your wallet goes here. <laughs> No, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it usually is. Right so I'm like, that that is a dream. That that, that doesn't even your that 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 dream doesn't even belong on the bucket list. That's how expensive. <laughs> My wallet goes. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um, share with us your you know bucket list, your yeah. dreams of what you'd want to do. For some people, it's just like. I want, I've only been to Disneyland. I, just I want to go, go to Disney World. And it's like, that is valid. Yes, yes absolutely. It is. For a lot of people, it is a once in a lifetime experience. We are And it's worth spoiled. it. You know, like, yeah, we work there, we live there, and we've experienced so much. But yeah, even though we have years of experience going to that park or living there, there's still things that we didn't get done. Oh, yes. So much. So much. Do. And you, you go look back and you're like, oh, I kind of regret that I didn't really was more proactive here. Mm -hmm. But I really appreciate that I went here at this time at this place because it's no longer there. Right. And I, and I feel like and it I makes got you more to special. do Body Wars and Cranium Command before it closed forever. Yeah. Stop bragging. <laughs> 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 but that is cool. That's that's part of the Disney experience is yeah. like you never know. It's like watching Disney Plus. You better watch it now. It could be gone in six weeks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, uh, yes, share with us on our social medias um, what you'd want to do, see, experience, and and just know that we we agree with you that it's it's valuable and it's worth worth doing and seeing. Um, is there anything else? No. Oh. Social medias. Yeah, follow us on Spotify. Spotify, you know, um, give us a review, give us many many stars. And uh, with that being said, a video
Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember before your bobsled comes to a complete stop to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember... Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. <laughs>